Segregation is a stain on our nation's soul. There's no other way to describe it. It represents one of the lowest moments in our nation's history, and we can never forget that. I grew up with segregation here in these communities. And if the rest of the country had followed our lead, we wouldn't have had all these problems over all these years either. To try to help people, to bring about reconciliation, to reach out uh, to people of all race, colors, religions. Uh, when you're from Mississippi and when you are a Republican leader, you got an extra burden to make sure you think about every word and every phrase so that it doesn't uh, convey the wrong impression or, or hurt people. Leadership, American leadership in many places. And that's not all. Strom has seen the rise of communism and the fall of communism. He knows that freedom is the wave of the future. And we know how much he has contributed. Governor Thurman attacks the civil rights flank. In celebrating his life, I didn't mean in any way to suggest that his views of over 50 years ago on segregation were justified or right. When Strom Thurmond ran for president, we voted for him. We're proud of it. I apologize for opening old wounds and hurting many Americans who feel so deeply uh, in this area. In fact, I was winging it. I was uh, too much into the moment. But I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that there's not enough troops in the Army to force the Southern people to break down segregation and admit the Negro race into our theaters into our swimming pools, into our homes, and into our churches. When Strom Thurmond ran for president, we voted for him. We're proud of it. And if the rest of the country had followed our lead, we wouldn't have had all these problems over all these years either.